Hi and welcome to part 3 of this example. Now we are going to create a layer of grass. So create a new model. 250 by 250. I'll just leave the resolution as it is. And OK that. What I want to do is create a lot of jagged vectors and I'm going to show you a few techniques within the node editing and using a new tool which we have here called the contour blend. I'm going to select create polyline. I don't want smooth polylines, I want jagged vectors. So what I'm going to do is select down here, come right up to the top and just create lots of different triangles which is basically just grass. So I'll just come down just these are to no sizes whatsoever. Just selecting these. Come right across the page. Just so we have some variety. What we're going to do, we're going to turn this into a brush. So that should do. I'll come right the way down to the bottom, come right the way back over here and join it up at the end. So there we have our grass. What I'm going to do now is press N for node editing. When we go into node editing, you have these two new options here. What I'm going to do, I'll explain these in a second. What I'm going to do is about a quarter of the length of the actual blade of grass I'm going to press I to insert a node just do this on all of those what we're going to do, we're going to offset these nodes we're going to just drag them either way just to create different varieties of blades of grass. What I'll do now is select these nodes and press S for smooth. I'll just draw it in a box around them. Right, so if I was to select this node here and selected two of them, it'd come out looking like that. That's not at all what we want to do. So I'm going to click Maintain Smooth Curves. What this does, it will create that if I was to do it on its own, but if I select all of them, it will create that. So what we're going to do is select these two blades of grass, bring those over to the left slightly, just so it creates a little bit of a wavy effect, bring those two over to the right, bring this one back over to the left, these two I'll take over to the right, this one I'll take over to the right because it's a little bit too close to there. I'll take these two over to the left. It's just got to be non-uniform so it creates realistic sort of grass. Right, so there is my grass. Now what I'd like to show you is the contour blend tool. Now I want to show you the difference between using the shape editor to do this particular piece of grass. I use the beveled edge, 45 degrees and I'll add that. Also using the contour blend tool they will give completely different results. For what we particularly want, the contour blend tool is great. It will actually follow all of the curves. That looks nothing like grass so I'll undo that and close the shape editor. Go into contour blend bring this down here and 
if I select linear, so everything's 45 degrees, I'll select 45 degrees and preserve interior corners so it doesn't give no rads, it will just follow the vectors that are on there and then create shape. And there we have our blades of grass. See how it follows it all the way down to the bottom, which it was not doing within the shape editor. But I'm going to undo this go back into my 2D view and I'm going to create a profile which I want the grass to follow. So if I create a rectangle, I'll just draw a little rectangle up here and I zoom in on this. I'll go back into node editing again and this part at the bottom I'll press R to remove the span so it's got rid of that part of the vector and I'll take off maintain smooth curves this time. This time I want to display virtual midpoints. What this does, it creates a midpoint between two nodes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag this node over to here and then grab midpoints and move them up. I've not had to press anything on the keyboard, it's just created new nodes. So there we have our profile. I'll come out of node editing, zoom back out, go back into my 3D view, pan this over, select contour blend. This time I want to select a vector, not linear. So I'll click selected vector, set profile vector, I'll select the vector that we've just made and set profile vector. I'll select preserve interior corners still. I'll override the height of the profile vector change that to let's say 2mm and override the width of the profile vector if I click full width of selection select my vector it will give me a size of the whole width of the vector so it's do something that's about halfway so I'll say about 16 and then I'll create that shape So now we have our blades of grass. Now I know that the bottom doesn't look too great but we're going to get rid of that anyway. We're just interested in the actual blades. As you can see it looks like proper blades of grass now. So pan this round just a little bit. Zoom back out, take off my vectors and I'm going to go onto the erase tool. I'll set quite a high diameter because what we're going to do, we're going to get rid of all these at the bottom of the grass and we need it to go straight up to where the blades of grass are because when we use this as a brush we don't want it to create a straight edge on the bottom it blends in better if you just have blades of grass I'll ignore the colour usage and I'll just run this across the bottom I'll change the strength, change it up to about 50 come across. There I can't particularly see whether I've got rid of everything. If you go back into the 2D view and you switch this on, preview relief layer, it will show the relief layer in 2D. Now you can see that I've missed a bit here even though I can't really see it on the 3D view. So if I go back to the 2D view I can actually use the sculpting on the 2D view. So that's taking it all out. So if I reduce my strength, I'll change that to about 8, and then I'll move up this time. This just creates a non-uniform bottom edge, which will look better when we create the brush tool. So if we go back onto 2D view, come up here, go back onto 3D view, that looks fine. Get rid of my eraser tool and I'll go into my front relief and I'll rename this layer as grass brush and then I'll create a new layer called field so I'll turn off this layer so I'm now on the field layer then what I want to do is 
to go into 2D view and I'll create a box about halfway up and I'll right click on that and move vectors to new layer and this is my new layer so I'll right click on it so now I've got my guideline that's all that this is it's just a horizon line just to give me a guide so go into the view along Z switch on my vectors and I'm going to go to use the deposit tool here's my brush click on here and it gives me the relief layers that I have I want to click on grass brush what that will do it will create a brush from my grass you can see a preview there so start off quite low for the brush say 150 and the strength let's do it say about 5 colour usage it doesn't matter I just want it to go over the whole layer and the relief combine mode I want to merge this so each layer of grass that I build up actually goes on top of each other I'll just run along here with grass all along the top of the projection line I'm just left clicking once if you drag the brush across it won't give the same effect so I'll do say about two or three lines of this so this is right on the horizon right, I'll just do it in the middle so you can see and then I'll finish this off later keep on adding 50% onto this diameter of the brush and then just keep on coming down so I'll just jump forward now and show you what it looks like when it's finished so there we have our finished layer of grass what I'm going to do now is just go onto the smooth tool say about 200 the strength make that small say about 10 and do some random smoothing it's just so the grass looks non-uniform that should do so now we have a layer of grass so I'll close that now we're going to do now we're going to do exactly the same thing and we're going to going to export the field and the grass brush into our clip art library so we'll just grab the field put it in there give us a preview of the field and we'll grab the grass brush put that in there as well and then close our clip art library